And I'm Dylan Black. What is the Preston Street Criterium? With all the details, we have two of the organizers of the event joining us right now. First of all, we say hello to Doug Corner. How are you? Wonderful. Good to have you here as well. Uh, David uh, Belenke is with us as well, one of the organizers. Hello, Good David. To see you. And you brought some hardware here with you. Okay, we'll talk. We'll talk about this. These are these these, these are the big prizes here coming up, and there's some other big prizes like uh, winning your weight in beer. That's I think we'll get to that prize, in a second. Yes. Mm -hmm. Doug, what exactly is a criterion? Criterion is a short uh, circuit uh, and for Preston Street. It's one kilometer, so there's uh, four four corners. And the objective in a criterium is to go through the turns as fast as you can, mm -hmm. and uh, obviously without falling. Safely, of course. Safely, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. The challenge is to go through the turns at uh, 40, sometimes 50 kilometers an hour, and having a rider in front of you, one behind you, one beside you, one on the other side, wow. and doing it all safely and uh, making it through to the next turn and doing it, doing it Challenging. again. Challenging. Yeah. So it's happening. The Preston Street Criterium is happening on Sunday on Dad's Day, Preston Street. David, this has been around for quite some time. This is the 46th year, um, and it's the longest running event of its kind in Ontario. Uh, we're quite proud of, of uh, its longevity. It's been a fixture in the Italian community. and uh, 46 years. Great. So, David, why Preston Street? Because you're, you're saying a fixture of the Italian community. Why, why, is, why does it take place there? Well, I think that there's a, a strong sort of affinity for cycling and bicycle races in, in the Italian sort of uh, psyche and culture, and so uh, you know the Giro d'Italia and those sorts of things. Uh, I've been sort of a fixture as well, and it was just a, a way to incorporate cycling into mm -hmm. the community that's now here in Ottawa. So. Okay, so Doug, when we say uh, bikes, we're obviously like uh, as uh, David is mentioning cycling, bicycles Pedaling. is what this is all about. We're pedaling. Hum human power, right? yeah, human yeah. power. So how many categories are there? How many? How many courses? Well, there's four, actually five races through the day. So the, the, the beginning races of the day are at 10 o'clock. That's the first event is at 10 o'clock on the Sunday. And so there's one race at 10, one race at 11. And those are the um, intermediary, intermediate riders that mm -hmm. are, uh, I mean, everybody has to be licensed and skilled to, to do this event. You just can't hop on your bike and say, I, I want to enter. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of skill required. So there is some uh, training and some qualification before you can actually enter the race. So the people that are on the street already have the skills to go through the turns uh, quite quickly. So that's the beginning of the day, 10 and 11. Then at noon is one of the highlights is the uh, women's only race. And uh, this year we've got something very different this year. We've got some international riders coming. We've got uh, two from New Zealand and two from Great Britain hmm. that are here for uh, a number of other events. And they'll, they'll be one of the highlights in the women's only race at noon. Okay. Then at 1 o'clock is a, a really fun event. We have kids races mm -hmm. or youth races and a series of races for uh, kids from four up to age 14. So the younger younger kids do like 50 meters along Preston Street. It's unbelievably cute. Everybody's okay. smiling, everybody's cheering. It's okay. just a lot of fun. So a couple questions because obviously we're seeing footage from previous criteriums and, and they are going pretty quick. So safety is definitely a, a concern. So, so how, how do you keep things safe? Well, a lot of it relies on uh, the skills that the riders themselves have. Um, you know, we do what we can to make sure that the course is secure and clear. There are no cars. There's uh, no no issues with the road surface and things like that. And spectators are kept uh, out of the way. Mm -hmm. But in general, um, we're uh, we're relying on the skill set of the riders, and it's Simple. something that's why it's one of those things you need to be a licensed racer to actually do these events. Okay, so so then Doug, I got to follow up to that question. The kids. So do they need to be licensed? No, no, yeah. they don't. No, okay. because they're... Um, so we, we, we keep it fairly well controlled. So the, the, the really young rise, riders, the four and five-year-olds and six and seven-year-olds, they're doing a straight line down Preston. We don't mm. send them around the course to do turns because uh, sometimes you get four-year-olds on little strider bikes, yeah. and it's a lot of fun. And we just make it simple. There you go, straight down Preston Street to the finish line. Okay. But then we have uh, other youth races that are two-lap, four-lap, and six-lap races. And those riders, uh, there's a very strong youth program in both Ottawa and Gatineau, and there's a you know a number of very very qualified coaches that are teaching the riders how to do it safely. Mm -hmm. So the people in the two, four, and six lap races will have done this type of racing before before they get to Preston Street. And Preston Street is one of the highlights of the year, though, because of the they're racing in front of crowds and you know fans. And yeah, it's and, way and more it's exciting the for the Italian them. Week festivals going on as well, right? So yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so, so David, this is kind of fun. I mentioned it uh, off the top. Uh, Kitchissippi Beer is helping you out. Right. Uh, one of the main prizes is. Uh, so the, well, 
It's actually two prizes in the women's race. The the winner of the women's race not only gets this lovely tro uh, their, her name on this trophy. Nice trophy. Uh, we end up with. Uh, the thousand uh, dollar top prize and uh, their weight in beer. So we have a very large scale, so a big <laughs> giant teeter totter, you might call it. Yeah. It, they basically park themselves on one end, and we load up the other end with beer. And the same thing happens for the men's race uh, that happens later on at two in the afternoon. Uh, they again, they've got the other trophy, and uh, they get their weight in beer. Mm. Kitchissippi Times is uh, Kitchissippi, sorry, Kitchissippi Beer has been uh, a, a great sponsor for the last few years. And they even have a beer called Rattler, which is which is aimed at. They, they have yeah, the Rattler is awesome. We we have a lot of Rattler that's one of the, 1855 is my favorite, yeah. but yeah, the Rattler's mm -hmm. great. Well, there you go. Okay, so uh, how can people get involved in this then, Doug, if, if, they, if they want to? I mean, the kids, uh, can they just sign up day of? Yeah, yeah, they, they can register online before. And you go to our website, the Preston Street Criterium.ca. Uh, there's a link there to register your kids. And uh, I think you mentioned, but I'll mention it again, all the proceeds from the kids' event goes straight to CHEO. You know, I didn't mention that, so thank you very much. And of course, that's important. It is, yeah. So we get great support from the kids, and they, they know that their money is going to CHEO, and it works really, really well. Uh, but they can certainly sign up day of. They can come down to Preston Street. Uh, the, the place to go is Beach and Preston. Mm -hmm. That's where the registration is for the kids and uh, just sign up and away you go and the entry fee is ten dollars not bad David what time does it all get underway this upcoming Sunday uh, well, we'll be there at seven o'clock to start uh, setting up but the racing actually starts at 10 and uh, goes until about uh, 4 30 mm -hmm. and then uh, once we've uh, finished with the racing uh, the street stays closed and the party continues it'll be a party all day sounds like a lot of fun and uh, you know hopefully it's great weather and and, and Rain or shine, right? Yep, rain or shine. It goes regardless. It, goes yeah. regardless. it looks like the weather's going to be great, though. Perfect. Preston Street Criterium happening this upcoming Sunday. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. More daytime coming up in moments right here on Rogers TV.